Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the last question from 058043, extended paper from October November 2024. Now, this question is from trigonometry topic. A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral and E is a point on CD. A, B is equal to 8.7 cm, B, C is equal to 11.4 cm, C, E is equal to 10.9 cm, angle A, D, E is equal to 90 degree. Angle ABC is equal to 119 degree and angle CAE is equal to 20 degree. So the first question is, show that the length of AC is equal to 17.37 cm, correct to two decimal places. So here we can see that a quadrilateral is given and length of some of the sides are given and some angles are also being given. Now in the first sub question, we have to find out what is the length of AC. So for that, let us consider the triangle ABC. So let me redraw that triangle over here. So the same triangle ABC is drawn along with the side lengths given and the angle. Now here, since we need to find out the length of AC, let us see what our data is given. We have been given two sides that is AB and BC and an angle is also given and the side opposite to the given angle is missing. So in this case, we are going to make use of cosine rule. Now how to find out whether it is cosine or sine rule I have explained in this video. So you can check it out over here on this link. Now here let us write down the cosine rule. So AC square that is the missing side square is equal to sum of square of the rest two sides that is AB square plus BC square minus 2 times AB times BC times cos of angle opposite to the missing side. So in this case it is going to be cos of angle B or cos of angle ABC. Now in the next step we have taken square on the other side of equal to sine. So it becomes square root and at the same time we have substituted their respective values that is AB is 8.7 so we get 8.7 square plus BC square becomes 11.4 square minus 2 times 8.7 times 11.4 times cos of angle B that is cos of 119 degrees. So let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 17.3728. Now we have to round it to two decimal places as we can see over here. So the answer becomes 17.37 cm. So we have shown that the length of AC is 17.37 cm. Angle AEC is obtuse. Calculate angle ACE. So let us consider the triangle AEC now. Now in this triangle we have been given the angle A as 20 degrees. We have found out the length of AC as 17.37 and the length of EC was given in the diagram as 10.9. Now in this question they have given a hint saying that angle AEC is an obtuse angle but we need to find out the missing angle ACE, this angle. So let us first start by finding the angle AEC and to find out the angle AEC we have been given two sides and one angle. So opposite to angle A is the side EC. And the side opposite to angle E is 17.37. So here we can use the sine rule. So sine rule is given as sine of angle AEC, this angle, over the side opposite to angle E is AC. So we have written sine of angle AEC over AC is equal to sine of angle CAE, that is angle A, over its opposite side, that is CE. Now let us take AC on the other side of equal to sine. And at the same time, we have substituted their respective values. So sine of angle AEC will be equal to sine of angle A that is sine of angle 20 over the length of CE is 10.9 times the length of AC is 17.37. Now let us take sine on the other side of equal to sine. So it becomes sine inverse of the right hand side. So let us see what value we get here. So sine inverse of right hand side gives us 33.0271. Now here I have taken to three decimal places. So angle AEC is 33.027. Now here in the question they have mentioned that AEC is obtuse. Obtuse angles lie between 90 degree and 180 degree. So we can clearly see that 33 becomes acute angle. So to get obtuse angle, we are going to subtract this angle from 180. So we get the obtuse angle AEC as 180 minus 33.027. And this will give us the value as 146.973 degrees. Now we have to find out the angle C. So we can use the angle sum property of a triangle to find out the missing angle as we have angle A and angle E with us. So here we have taken this triangle over here for easy reference. 
and using the angle sum property of the triangle we have written angle C plus angle E plus angle A is equal to 180 degree. Now angle C that is what we need to find out so we have kept it as it is plus angle EEC we got it as an obtuse that is 146.973 plus angle A is already given in the question as 20 is equal to 180. Now taking these two angles on the other side they get subtracted from 180. So let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 13.027. So let me round it as 13.03. By mistake I have written it as 13.02. So this is the value of the angle ACE. That is 13.03 degrees. Now moving on to the next sub question. Calculate the perimeter of quadrilateral ABCD. So here let me just highlight the perimeter. So perimeter of this quadrilateral is given as AB plus BC plus CD plus AD. Now in this quadrilateral we have been given the length of side AB and BC but the total length of DC is missing and AD is missing. So to find out these two values let us make use of the right angled triangle ADC because we can see that angle D is 90 degree. So we can consider this right angled triangle and we also have got the value of AC. So let me redraw this right angle triangle over here. So here we have redrawn the right angle triangle ADC. Now we had got the value of angle C this small angle just now as 13.03 degrees. Angle D is given as 90 degree and we had also got the length of AC as 17.37. So to find out the length of CD or AD we have to use trigonometric ratios. So let us try to find out the length of AD first. Now since we have considered the angle C which is the angle of concern the side opposite to angle C is AD so it becomes the opposite side. Now the side opposite to 90 degree is AC so this becomes the hypotenuse and the side CD becomes the adjacent default. So since we are trying to find out AD first let us consider the opposite and the hypotenuse and the trigonometric ratio that uses opposite and hypotenuse is sine. So here we have written sine of angle ACD as opposite side over hypotenuse. So sine of angle 13.03 is equal to opposite side is AD over hypotenuse is AC. Now AC goes on the other side of equal to sine and multiplies with the sine. So we get AD is equal to AC times sine 13.03. Now the value of AC is 17.37. So multiplying these two it will give us the value of AD as 3.916 centimeter. Now using the same triangle we are going to find out the length CD and since CD is the adjacent side we have the hypotenuse we can make use of the cosine trigonometric ratio. You can also use the Pythagoras theorem over here since we have the hypotenuse and opposite but I am going to use the cos trigonometric ratio. So let me write here. So cos of angle ACD is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So here we have taken the same triangle for easy reference. So cos of 13.03 degrees is equal to. Now adjacent side is CD over the hypotenuse is AC. Now taking AC on the other side of equal to sign it multiplies with cos 13.03. So AC value is 17.37. So multiplying these two numbers it will give us the value of CD as 16.923 centimeter. Now we have the length of CD, we have the length of AD and we also have the rest of the two sides to find out the perimeter. So let us write here. Perimeter of the quadrilateral ABCD is equal to AB plus BC plus CD plus AD. AB was in the diagram given as 8.7 plus BC was also given as 11.4 plus CD we just now got it as 16.923 plus the AD value is 3.916. So let us add all these values. So it is going to give us the value as 40.939. I have taken it to one decimal please as 40.9 centimeter. So this is going to be our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.